Next up uh, on Sunday, a trip to Perth and uh, a testimonial for a, a player you know very well, Chris Miller. Yeah, I do. Chris was um, one of my first signings as a manager. Um, when I was putting the squad together, obviously I took the job on at St Johnston, I think it was in November. And uh, trying to put my first squad together to mount a challenge for, um, to get promoting. Uh, Chris was a big part of that. He was one of the players we identified early enough. I did watch them. And uh, he was a key part of that promotion winning team in that first season and uh, played every game for me. And he was one that we always felt would come to the Premier League with us at St Johnston. And, um, you know, I remember at the time when we tried to sign him, Morton were actually offering more money. He's from Greenock. Uh, and there was a lot of soul searching for him to do. But, you know, I said to him then that you won't regret coming to St Johnston. You'll play your career in the Premier League from now on in if you sign. And the money will come to you um, in terms of getting more money in the Premier League, more bonuses and all the rest of it. So it was still a lot for him to, to convince his partner at the time and uh, to travel to work from Greenock to Perth every day as an expense there as well and for less money than we could have got. So he deserves a lot of credit for making the right decision, you know, because I think that decision was not only good for me, good for Chris, but good for St Johnston in the long term because like a number of boys that we assigned there, um, they've went on to have a a long career at St Johnson and I think that speaks a lot not only about the individuals but about the club itself you know Dave Mackay Stephen Anderson um, Chris Miller now uh, all had testimonials I'm sure Murray Davidson maybe Liam Craig boys that have been there a long time as well maybe come into that um, group as well so um, Chris was a boy who was very infectious uh, very annoying at times as well um, but very popular and lively in the dressing room and, uh, and he gave me brilliant value on the pitch considering he was a free transfer considering um, as I say when he came uh, there wasn't a lot expected of him but there was a, a self-belief within him uh, which was always very appealing to me when I was speaking to him uh, and a confidence that he could be a big player for us not only in the championship but laterally in the Premier League and that's exactly what he was so he's deserving of the, the, the testimonial I think it's a great tribute to him um, he's back now back at Morton, um, um, but it's great that this game is, is going ahead and uh, hopefully we get a good turnout from him. I know how well thought of the St Johnson fans um, uh, regarded Chris, but also how important it is to any support, um, especially St Johnson supporters that haven't worked there, how, how uh, that loyalty that players show towards the club, um, how much they respect that and regard that. So hopefully it's a good turnout. Uh, we're fine-tuning our preparations, as, as you know, in the game. Um, it will be our toughest game yet to date, um, so against Premier League opposition. And uh, again, hopefully we'll be um, a step towards where we want to go after the game because it's, uh, it'll be a tough challenge for us. So an exciting game, the sun will be shining, and hopefully we get a good turnout for them.